Hello friends and welcome back to this peaceful series where the mobs leave us be and the crisp autumn air has just begun. I have been doing lots of farming and lots of food gathering and I think it's time we went and found more things. Specifically things that make me think of autumn like pumpkins and whatever else we can find. But before we do that, I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe. I could have done with one more diamond and then we could have made ourselves a uh, enchanting table, but we'll come back to that later. Friends, I always like to name my tools after songs, so if you have an idea for what we can name this after, please do let me know. Something gentle, something folky, I think we can come up with something nice together. And I've got myself plenty of food for adventuring. We've got egg sandwiches, sweet berry stuff. Um, maybe I should make myself some boots. I wonder if that's something that I found. I feel like we should have found some boots in the last episode when I was like going through like all the stuff that I found in the spider spawner, but doesn't look like it. I don't really want to kill a cow either. I don't even have enough for iron booties. It's a tragic. We go naked. See you later, dude. I'm thinking what we do is head up into the hills this way and just kind of see what we can find. There's a big birch biome. I know there's obviously loads of taiga back there. And uh, hopefully we'll find ourselves some pumpkins and maybe some beautiful flowers as well. It's also nice just to like get to know this area. Look at this beautiful red trees. Oh, it's so nice. I kind of wish I'd use that iron to make shears. <gasps> Peonies. I already have peonies, but you know, well, I'm taking them anyway. Hello, Mrs. Cow. Oh, look. Oh, roses. Are they roses? No, this is the bushy flowers mod. I love this. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, you get loads of them. That's so cool. I need these for dyes. I need these for dyeing purposes. Oh, you get loads. Oh, can I, uh, hang on. No, okay, you can't multi-plant them. You just find them in nature. Okay, I won't, I won't pick all of them then because that's so cute. Oh, look, more flowers. I'll come get those later. Oh, so nice. Do you know what I should have brought with me? It's probably my boat, actually. Let's make a boat. Whee. Thank you, Tree, for your services. Ooh, let's go for a little ride. My favorite. Oh, this is glorious. Look at this. I bet we could sail around here, you know. I bet our river connects over there. Oh, this looks like it might be a meadow biome. Oh yes, lots of flowers just for me as the sun is setting. <gasps> no way! Cherry blossoms in autumn? It's more likely than you think. We gotta go get one, we gotta go get one. Right, I'll leave the boat there so I know, I know which way I need to go. <laughs> oh, a donkey. Gosh, it's been ages since I've had a mule in Minecraft. <gasps> There's a couple of them. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back for you guys when I have like some kind of saddle situation. I'll have to remember that they live here. Oh my God, all the pink flowers. It's like not very autumn, but I must have it. Give them to me. I think you can just bow me all these actually. Oh my gosh, it's actually gorgeous. Look, look at how well it goes with like the red autumn, even though it's like completely the wrong season. <laughs> Hello, beautiful tree. Oh, look at that view. As the sun goes down over the red forest. Oh, <gasps> no way. No way, there's a little village. Oh, that's brilliant. All right, let's get this and let's go see if they wouldn't put us up for the night. Wee! <laughs> it raineth, it raineth cherry blossom. That's all I need. That is all I need. And then I can grow my own. The feeling of spring in autumn. <laughs> I feel like spring and autumn are quite adjacent seasons. They both have like similar kind of temperatures. Everything changes color. Oh, blue flowers. Give them to me. Oh no, that's quite a drop. Um, Artemis, why did you not bring a bucket of water with you? That would have been really sensible, wouldn't it? I think actually if I dig down, I should be okay. Just a little, ow, hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. <gasps> oh, let's go visit, let's go visit. Mr. Skeleton, look at all these horses. Maybe we could breed ourselves a really cute mule. I love a mule because you can put a, I was gonna say a backpack, <laughs> not a backpack, a chest on them. And uh, then they like are like an inventory. They're easier to steer than llamas. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Oh, look at all these sheep. There's a gray one. There's a white one. There's a black one. So many sheep. 
Look at this, black sheep. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, I better sleep here, otherwise the uh, the Steve's gonna get a bit excited. Do we have a bed? Okay, no one home. I'm sure they won't mind. Oh, good morning. Let's see what we've got. Hello, sir. I have come from not very far to, to greet you and and uh, bring, bring the morning ablaze. <laughs> what is this? Alliums. <gasps> yes, my first onion. Oh, yes. Give me the onions. Um, these are wild onions, right? You're not, um, you're not cultivating these particular onions, are you? No, great. Thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> wow, you guys have got a great little place here. Like, beautiful cherry blossoms. The autumn. It might be a little bit windswept, maybe. But, you know, you know. Oh, hello. <gasps> Giant things. More tomatoes. That's what I've always wanted. Thank you. I bet we could probably make some kind of passageway to this village. Like, I don't think it is that far from where I live. <gasps> oh, it's huge. Like, there's loads of village up here. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a meadow village. That's so nice. I mean, it's not super practical, like, for, like, the weather, like, up on this hill. Uh, yoink. <laughs> the bell is mine. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Artemis is here. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Ooh, rabbits. I'm just gonna casually look through these and see if there's anything that uh, nobody minds if I, like, you know, permanently borrow. This is such a cute village. It's full of, like, free-roaming sheep, free-roaming rabbits, free-roaming villagers. <laughs> Amazing. You guys are going to be very useful when I need to get, you know, like, iron and stuff. Hello. Sorry. 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 I don't mean to disturb you. Sorry. <laughs> well, not so much loot, but, you know, we've got villagers. Villagers are good. Do you guys have any vegetables that I don't have? This looks like it might be something I don't have. Yeah, carrots! Yeah! I'm so excited. It looks like potatoes. Don't see anything else. Yeah, that's all carrots. I was hoping you'd have beetroot as well, but never mind. Never mind. Oh, wow. What a find. And I still haven't found a single pumpkin. There must be a pumpkin around here somewhere. Like, I'm sure that a meadow biome or like on the side of a hill is usually where I find them. They're like in patches usually. Pumpkins? Nada. Zilch. Nothing. Let's go round the hill. There must be a pumpkin round here somewhere. <gasps> oh. Jackpot. Oh, and there's a bee's nest as well. It's a shame I don't have any silk touch. This meadow is so nice. Look at it. Oh, and look, the bee. It's having a great day. Hello. <gasps> Look at this super tall. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, one like tall tree with one bee living in it. That is adorable. Yes. <gasps> Look at this. This is such an idyllic little pumpkin field that I'm about to, to uh, destroy. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. You're coming with me and I'm going to create my own custom pumpkin field. That's right. You're going to have a beautiful new home and I'm going to make some delicious pumpkin pie, stuffed pumpkin, all of the beautiful autumn recipes. Yay! Pumpkins! Uh-oh. Oh, I don't have an umbrella or a raincoat. Oh, where's my boat? I'm going to stand under here with the bee. It's very wet. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference Oh, you make me strong Okay, friends. <laughs> ding 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 so i figured out that one of the things i've added here are these decoration blocks from supplementaries and look you can put all your flowers in them aren't they so cute yeah i have a little flower box look at that <laughs> anyway what i actually want to concentrate on now is building ourselves a little pumpkin field and I think if we go kind of in this direction, there's quite a flat part of the forest here. Yeah, here it is. Like this bit here is quite flat. 
I think if we got rid of some of these trees, this would be perfect as a pumpkin patch. Oh, I'm gonna go through a lot of axes doing this. Oh, look, here's the floating tree I left. <laughs> You're the first thing in the morning and the last. Baby, you're my future and you are my past. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough. Shining from within, I can tell that you're tough. Okay, now this area is cleared out, I think I'm going to make myself a little well, just so that, you know, I have some water in this area, and also because I think it would look cute. Keep my heart and soul strong, plant your seeds and watch them grow, the light will always know where to go, you will always keep my heart and soul strong. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Could even have the path if I hadn't broken my shovel coming up here. Perfecto. Friends, look at my pumpkin patch. Isn't it cute? I've AFK'd here for a little bit just to get the pumpkins to grow and I can't wait for them all to have a little pumpkin growing on it so it looks full and then I can harvest them all. Um, we also had a friend turn up. He's back again. Guess who's back? He's got things that I don't need anymore. Um, but I do know where to get emeralds, so um, come back when you've come back when you got something more interesting, okay? Now I have also been doing a little bit of mining. I thought that the spruce forest over here would be the perfect place for a little abandoned mine shaft. So where this mysterious long line of ferns is, I've started to create one. It's a little bit bare bones at the moment and it only kind of goes down to what I would say is like iron level. Oh, hello. It's, it's one of the old miners come to haunt us still. <laughs> yeah, I've been really lazy guys because I have shaders on. Oh, hello, that's my head. Uh, because I have shaders on, obviously whenever I hold the torch, like it lights everything up, uh, which means that I've been saving on uh, actually placing torches and just holding this in front of me and letting the darkness close in behind me. This is my little uh, my little iron shaft here. And it actually comes into like quite a cute little cave that had a little bit of iron in it. I think it's a dripstone cave actually, uh, but that's it, that's, that's all there is. And then I came down to deep slate level and found the biggest vein of diamonds I ever have in my life and I was mining them and then I was like what am I doing I'm being such a greedy guts I need to like leave these and see if there's any more so that we can get fortune on our pickaxe so I'm actually gonna go do that now because I think I know where I can get some obsidian whenever it's nighttime I notice that there's like a mysterious glow that's coming from somewhere on the other side of the river so I'm fairly sure there is a lava pool over here somewhere we just have to be very careful not to fall in it Aha! Uh -huh. I almost fell in it. But this is going to be, Mr. Bunny, I'm about to save your life, <laughs> our obsidian farm. Whee! I love that sound. <laughs> Whee! I guess we'll leave that one piece in case I want to make a lava farm. <laughs> now it's time to um, dig a lot. One obsidian. That's enough for now. Now here's a conundrum, friends. I have the obsidian, I have the diamonds, but I've kind of sworn off killing at the moment, so I don't have any leather. So we may need to take a trip back to the village so I can trade with them for some books. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing in my boat? I guess you go in that boat now. <laughs> Great. Oh, this village is so close, it's really easy to get to. Although I have realized one slight flaw in my plan. Um, I need books in order to make a librarian villager, so we may need to go find another village. But at least I can still trade with the farmers. Hello, sir. Oh, I have what you need. <gasps> Roses. Immediately distracted. Oh my lord. Why is it whenever I come over to this village, it rains? Oh lordy, it's a thunderstorm as well. Well, friends, picking roses in the rain has given me a little bit of time to ruminate on my problem. 
Let's just uh, hide under this tree and observe the village from a distance. <laughs> After trading with the villagers, obviously, I did not get any books because there's no <laughs> lectern. But I've realized the solution to this problem that I always use is a fishing farm. It's still raining, but at least the pumpkins are nice and hydrated. I realize this is also actually quite good for a fishing farm. Let's be quick. Artemis was in fact not quick because of being a vegetarian and not killing any mobs, there were certain key ingredients that were missing for making the fishing farm, which resulted in a rather lengthy adventure. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I've just realized my llama friend, I don't actually have enough string, but I think there's a way that we can solve this without hurting any spiders. I need to make one of these. Like this? Yeah. I don't have anywhere sensible to put it. Let's put it here. <laughs> and then we need a knife, just like that. Or is it shears? Oh, it might be shears, actually. You put that on there. And then shears? This doesn't seem cuttable. Aww, I wanted to get string from it. Disappointed. I was so sure there was a way you could get string out of wool. Oh, well, there are other things you can make string from, I think, anyway. Yeah, we need flax, but <laughs> good luck finding that. <laughs> it's usually in uh, pillager outposts. <laughs> I feel like today is really testing my resolve to stay vegetarian. Well, at least I can plant some roses around here. Now, ain't that nice? All right, Mr. Creeper, I think the easiest place we're going to find string is a shipwreck. I can tell he's super excited. Look, he's nodding his head. He's enjoying it. He's enjoying the scenery. What should we name you? I think you look like a Friedrich. I'm gonna call you Friedrich. Come on, Friedrich, let's see if we can find ourselves a shipwreck. Ooh, a turtle. That's useful. I'll take that kelp, thanks very much. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy at Tea. The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down, a blow, my Billy boys blow. Soon may the Weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue in his done, we'll take our leave and go. Right, well, we've been sailing all night, Friedrich, and what have we found? Absolutely nothing. Some lucky charm you are. You have time to redeem yourself. We're gonna have one little, more little sweep around the cove. I can see drowned and not much else. Friedrich, I feel like I've gone the wrong way. I think we need to go back. Uh, excuse me? This isn't my house. Wh where are we? F Friedrich, is this another village? Oh, hello? I mean, I thought we were lost, but <laughs> this is this is pretty lost. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, nice. <gasps> Saddles! Oh, what a find. What a nighttime find. And pumpkins. This is my kind of village. Oh dear. Oh dear. The babies are out. Oh yeah. You're, there's a lot of there's a lot of zombies. Where's the rest of the village, lads? Hello? Oh. Thank goodness, sir. Let me just uh, let me just help you out here. Do you have anything? Ooh, more overweight blocks. Cool. And a large fern. A rare find. Hello, friends. I would like to pause here so that we all may hang our heads in shame that I did not notice that there were books in this villager house and breezed on past them. What are we doing in here? Ooh, <gasps> rice. Oh, wow. My inventory is getting way too full for this. Okay, Friedrich, we need to, like, use some semblance of a sense of direction to find our way home. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Friedrich, we found it! I've got no idea where my house is, but we found a shipwreck. Please have string, please have string. Oh, so cute. This is an extremely inconveniently buried, um, ship. <laughs> oh, that's okay, though. I like that, we'll have that. That looks like a doorway. Chest. <gasps> yes! Oh, <gasps> no, no, we're good. We're good. Get air, get air, get air. Empty inventory. Go in there. Give me the flex. Oh my gosh, I forgot you got flex seeds and shipwrecks. I'm so happy right now. Yep, we'll take the suspicious stew. Thanks very much. Okay, Friedrich, let's not push our luck, shall we? <laughs> it's time to go home. Friedrich, I'm realizing a lot of these rivers and things all kind of look the same. I think we're going to have to put on some markers or something so we can uh, actually not get lost every time we try and sail. Right, one of these is the correct direction and all the others are not. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Friedrich, I think that's it. I think that's the little island that leads to my base. Yay! My house! Wow, that other little village is really not that far. Let me out the boat! Oh, Friedrich, thank you for your company, but uh, I'm done now. <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to bed. And here, my friends, is the fishing farm. I have done it so many times, I could literally build it in my sleep. And the other good news is we have some of the flax growing. And I've even harvested my first piece, which means we should be able to make a fishing rod. Yes. Yes. Fishing rod. Right, let's see if it works. First thing I'm gonna need to get is a better fishing rod. <laughs> ah, this is the life. <gasps> Fishy business. What do we get? What do we get? Did he go in the thing? A fish! I'll um throw that back later. In the meantime, I have a lot of fishing to do. Oh yes, friends, it's happened. We got the leather! I'll uh deal with those fish later. We also seem to have a bit of a visitor. It's him again. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, <laughs> funny. Oh, a sea pickle. I, I want a sea pickle. I love a pickle. Where to, where to put where to put the emeralds? Good thing I traded with those villagers in the end. Give me your pickles. Oh, oh, and I need one of these to grow the pickles on as well. Fantastic. Thank you. You've actually provided me with something useful today. I'm going to put the pickles over here with the rice. Eh, pickle. Nice. Now on to more important matters. A one, a two. First we make the paper. A book. Nice, nice. Yay! Oh my gosh. Right, now I need to make an absolutely adorable little house for this to go in. And I'm going to do it right over here next to the pumpkin patch. I never understood a word they said. Kept running in the woods alone instead. Somewhere, somehow, I guess I lost it all. Try to keep it up and stand in tone. Why don't you say? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me right now? Oh, we didn't need the fishing farm. Friedrich, you've betrayed me. I see you with your tangled hair Hiding behind the curtains of your own despair No one found you Well, three down, many more to go. Here's something fun. We can actually get bark by slapping this down and stripping it, ooh, which can be made into paper, but I can also compost it for more bone meal. I mean, on the positive side, doing this doesn't use any durability on the knife whatsoever. So um, as long as I got bone meal, I can just keep going all day, all day. It's a hard day's night and I've been working like a dog. Friends, I've done it. Many choppings later and we should have ourselves 45 beautiful books. Hooray! Look at all the wood I had to strip for this. Luckily you also get seeds and stuff and flowers so I was just like whacking them in the composter. This composter has been well fed today. It has been well fed. But now we need to make some bookshelves. Oh yes. Yeah, now I can make the lectern. <laughs> Huzzah, 15 bookshelves. All right, let's finish this beauty off. I moved a couple of the pumpkins so you could see them a bit better. And I'm so happy that I got the sea pickles. Look at that, it's so, so good. I got a couple of flower pots, kind of like this is like a little magic area. And I would love to have some candles as well, but that is for another episode. I also think the spore blossom is quite a good addition to this area, just to kind of make it look a little bit more magical, have a bit of like beautiful floaties over my lovely pumpkin patch. <gasps> Fantastic. Yes, the full 30 levels. Now I just have to get 30 levels. I guess the fishing farm is useful after all. Friends, I've had a change of heart about the enchanting area. 
I've decided to get rid of all of these red leaves that are like right up against it, like that. And instead, I'm going to plant a couple of cherry trees. Make some more bone meal. See if we can grow them in the right direction. Please grow. Let's try the other one. Please grow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I literally don't have the spoons to make a custom tree right now. Let's raid the fishing farm. Oh yeah, bones without killing. Let's try this old trick. Grow. Grow. Yes, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And another. Yeah. Yes, yes, this is what I wanted. <gasps> yes. So the idea is that because of the magic here, this is permanently spring just in this little part, even though I've placed a couple of like pumpkins around. I think that that fits really well. So we have our autumn pumpkin fields and the perpetually spring enchanting area. I've also thankfully realized that the fishing farm is not a total bust because that is where I'm now getting my XP from. And it's a nice peaceful fishing experience for getting all of the enchanting levels that I need. It might be a little bit slow, but we're just going to have to deal with that. So before we finish today, folks, I'm going to pick some pumpkins and we are going to make ourselves some delicious food. It would really help if I had inventory space of any kind. Ah oh yes, let's also pay a visit to our chicken friends. Wonderful, wonderful. So how do we make pie? Sugar! Easy does it. Yay! Pumpkin pie! And I know you can definitely make a stuffed pumpkin as well, so let's look that up quickly. Aha! Okay, so we put the pumpkin in here. And then we basically get all of the ingredients that we've collected so far. So carrot, sweet berry, potato, here you go. And we also need a brown mushroom, an onion, and some rice that is not fully grown. We can solve this problem. Grow. Yeah. And then you hit it. <gasps> Yay, rice. All right, time for a midnight feast. <gasps> it's cooking! It's cooking! <gasps> oh, amazing! Amazing! Where can I put it? Uh, <laughs> I'm running out of table space. I guess we could have a midnight feast in the pumpkin field. Oh, it looks so magical. And eh! Yay! <gasps> Look at that! So I can sit out here. I can listen to the, the magical beautiful sounds coming from in the forest and in like the beautiful spring place and I can sit and just enjoy the ambience of nature. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. This was an interesting episode. There were many trials and tribulations, but we got there in the end, and I'm very happy with my beautiful pumpkin field and my rather majestic enchanting setup. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode.